Well, it is sure to be another very interesting day on mm. Wall Street. Groups of amateur investors on platforms like Reddit are going up against traditional investors, and it's making the market do some very wild things. Traditional investors with a lot of money. It's a rebellion of sorts on Wall Street between retail traders and hedge funds. The stock trading app Robinhood will allow what they're now calling limited buys on stocks like GameStop and AMC today as well. The app put restrictions on trades yesterday, and this comes after at home traders teamed up and used tools like Robinhood to cause a GameStop stock to rise more than 300%. Now, the purpose of the effort was to go up against those really big hedge funds. The bet the retail chain would fail. Much of this drama unfolding on social media, and now teenagers are taking notice. Many are turning to sites like TikTok to learn more about the stock market, which could help draw more of the younger generation into investing. Joining us now is Jonathan Weiner, economics and finance senior at Stetson University. Good morning. It is always good to see you. How are you this morning? Good morning. I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, thanks. I mean, I know as adults, we do tend to kind of dabble. I know I do in the stock market. Can we kind of explain what's happening in layman's terms with GameStop? So what is happening with GameStop right now, we've seen it before. On the Frankfurt Exchange about in 2008, Volkswagen had Porsche purchase many of their shares, causing short uh, investors to cover their shorts. Now, however, what is different is that it's retail investors this time, not corporations or funds. So as you said, there's a power struggle right now between those retail investors and those funds. So why are we having now this pushback then from these hedge funds? Because isn't that kind of what they do as well, right? Yes, that is correct. We're having this pushback because the rise in GameStop price is causing them to have to pay more every day to cover those shorts. And on top of that, they can also cover their shorts by purchasing those shares, which is also increasing the demand. Well, you know, let's talk about young people now getting into the stock market as a result of what's happening here. Social media, obviously a big thing with a younger generation. Reddit pushing this. Will this change now how Wall Street operates? So I believe this push is because many young people want those that independence and freedom of choice in the stock market. And it also uh, gives a depth of learning where you can study for years and you can still learn more every day. And we've also been told that investing is a secret to wealth. We've been told that savings eats your money, which is why they're investing. All right, so we teach our son, our, our oldest son, kind of how to dabble a little bit in the stock market. We're very, very conservative with him, though, because we understand that he's got limited money, but we want to help him maximize that. I know that you have a trading program there at Stetson University. How does that work? So how it works is it operates just like a fund where we have analysts as students, and then we also have portfolio managers, trustees, and a chief investments officer. And instead of at other schools where they use pretend money, we use real money. Mm. Right now, we have gotten the fund to about $5 million. And the real stress gives the students the actual experience of running a fund. Are you surprised that more young people are now getting interested in the stock market? And what would your message be to young people who are interested in market trading? Because I know with my son, when we first started doing this with him, he looked at it as just kind of like free money, but nothing's free. Nothing is free. I would highly recommend everybody to do their due diligence. And when it comes to stocks like GameStop, if you're not willing to burn that money, you shouldn't invest. Which is exactly what we tell him, Jonathan Winner. Thank you so much for the information. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Andrea.